welcome back, exiles. In this one, I'll show you how I made enough currency to buy my headhunter in Affliction League and give you a few tips and tricks which might help you out. Before we start as usual, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Let's begin. At the start of the league, I used my usual strategy of full ritual spec on the Atlas, combined with shrines and strongboxes. Ritual has a huge variety of items it can give you, many of which are valuable early on in the league, including just raw currency, expensive fractures, synthesized bases, uniques, high-level gems, and much more. This also includes useful things for yourself to progress the Atlas, such as maps, unique maps, chisels, etc. Like here, I found an Enlighten early on which is still in my build today and saved me the currency buying one. As long as you have a good basic game knowledge of what is valuable or useful to a number of different builds, you can find plenty of good things early on with Ritual. Corrupted Blood Jewels are another which can be found. Early League most characters will need some form of immunity against it. The reason we use Shrines combined with Ritual is they're great for not only clearing your maps quicker, but let you clear the Rituals faster and reduce your chance of dying if your build isn't quite ready yet. I usually play some variation of Spark, and once a Ritual starts it creates a wall around the area which projectiles can bounce off. Combined with Shrines you can take them down very easily and ensure you get maximum tribute to spend. These five divine spawns are quite rare, but nice when you do get them. On the first week or so of the league, they can get you a couple good upgrades or more. High-level or high-quality skill gems are also worth looking for. Typically, they will be higher priced in the top left section of the ritual screen. Level 21 gems with 20 quality can often be found, worth quite a lot of currency. Ensure to check fractures too. This one was only 80 chaos or so, but a plus one all spells wand fracture, for example, can be worth a lot. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth ritual video, let me know in the comments below. After ritual, I decided to try out the abyss juicing strategy that seems super popular currently, and I can now see why. In terms of currency and unique drops, it's completely broken. Although I must admit it's pretty fun. I won't go into too much detail about the strategy as there's some much better, more detailed videos on YouTube about it, but it involved using Wandering Path alongside Abyss. Combine this with a high number of Wisps from the League mechanic, Reliquary Scarabs, a plus two projectile map, Beyond, and some magic find gear, and things start to get a bit crazy. I will admit though, heavily juiced Beyond bosses are one of the funniest things I've seen in game. Check these out. What the hell is this? Pretty crazy stuff. One thing I did notice made a huge difference to my loot was using magic find gear. A specific magic find character would likely be better but I didn't want to roll and level another character. So instead, I used a gear swap just for doing these tier seven maps. This depends on your current build, but see what you can use without it bricking your current setup. For the body armor, I used a max rolled Greed's Embrace. Adding 15 quant and 50 rarity, it does slow you down, but we're in low tier maps and use shield charge anyway. For boots, we use a max rolled Gold Worm giving us another 20 quant, a little move speed, and some fire resistance. For rings, a pair of well-rolled Ventor's Gambles for quant, rarity, life, and resistances. These can cost a small fortune with near-perfect rolls, so try and get the best value you can afford. For flasks, a well-rolled Divination Distillate adds more quant and rarity, and synergizes well with petrified blood even without perfect uptime. A gold flask with the rarity craft is also a good addition, adding further rarity to the setup. Along with a helmet I crafted, we ended up at 60% extra quant and 237% rarity, 
which works well enough for a gear swap while doing these abyss maps. These were the strategies that I used to farm enough currency for my headhunter. Although I've seen many others simply drop a headhunter, mage blood, or mirror from this abyss setup. By collecting the currency, selling the valuable uniques and other loot, you'll be able to buy your own in no time. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Discord, Patreon, and YouTube membership links can all be found in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, Exiles.